Well, for the benefit of this video, I'm uh, going to steam this Walesco D405 steam tractor. Uh, I think Mike uh, asked for this one, so it's a good idea because I haven't steamed them for a long while. Uh, basically, been around in all the engine, sort of the actual steam oiler, jet oiler up here. I filled that one by uh, turning the engine over in neutral and so it sucks the oil into the piston. Remember this is a double acting engine so consequently uh, you've got a slide piston valve arrangement as well. Far more sophisticated than the MAM old stuff. Uh, a lot of people are quite biased against these engines. It's just um, ill-informed rubbish. They are extremely good engines. Some parts of the construction are not quite as robust as the MAM old. However, in terms of uh, the actual uh, imaginative use of materials and of the design even though the basic uh, rudimentary clutch system on here is far in excess of what you get on a mammal. Uh, the double acting piston is very smooth and quiet. Um, overall they are very well made engines. Um, I bought this one back in 1988 I think it was, it was £100 it was then. And uh, what I'm going to do is once these up, steam is up and uh, I'm going to run them around the floor. I put a couple of rubber bands on it just to get a bit more pressure. We'll just put the stock hot closed. We'll just close the whistle. It's a, a long time since I've run this one because I've forgotten what all the controls do. And uh, we'll see how this one performs for you. The only problem I do find on these is that filling the safety valve there in order to get the uh, filler funnel in, you've got to take this one out, but then I've got to use a separate jug to fill it from there. I can't get my normal kettle to fill it up from there because obviously the canopy doesn't come off what's bolted on. So we'll just let this one get up to steam. You can hear it squeaking and hissing in the background, simmering away and uh, it should be in steam very very shortly.